Hi, I'm Ms. Cern, and let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about something in graph theory called closed walks. So we've talked about walks, trails, and paths in a previous video, and in this case, we're going to talk about what happens when they are closed. If you like the video and find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video. In the previous video, we learned that walks are a way of navigating a graph where there's pretty, pretty much no restrictions except you have to stay on the graph. So for example, I could start at vertex A and I could go to B and then I could go to E and then to D and then to C. I could go back to D if I wanted to. I can go anywhere I want and I can even backtrack just as long as I stay on the path. So I could not, for example, just go from B to C. That would be going off the path, and that would not constitute a walk. If we add the extra condition that we have no repeated edges, so no backtracking, we call that a trail. So for example, if I go from E to D, and then from D to C, C to A, over to D, and back to B again, I've not hit any of the edges twice, so this type of walk is called a trail. And then when we add even one more condition, which is we can't repeat any vertices either, so we can't repeat any edges or vertices, then in that case we have what's called a path. So that would be something like E to B to D to C to A, never going to any of the edges or vertices that I've already visited a second time. By the way, if you start and end at the same vertex, that's okay. That's not considered a repeat. Now, as I mentioned in the previous video, not all graph theory books have the same terminology. So in some books, they might call trails paths and then call paths simple paths. So the important thing is to pay attention to whether or not repeated edges and vertices are allowed. So when I'm saying trails in this video, I'm talking about any walks where you can't repeat any edges, no repeated edges. And when I say paths in this video, I'm talking about any walk that has no repeated vertices or edges. So now we're going to add to these characteristics another category, which is called being closed. Being closed in graph theory just means that we begin and end at the same vertex. So as we've already seen, a walk in a graph is just a sequence of vertices, each linked to the next by a specified edge of the graph. A closed walk has the same characteristics. It stays on the graph, but it just begins and ends at the same vertex. So for example, a closed walk might be something like, I start at E, I go to D, I go to C, I go to A, I go back to D, and back to E again. So it begins and ends at the same vertex. Now we've said that a trail in a graph is a walk that uses no edge more than once. So a closed trail is a way of navigating a graph that has that same characteristic, no edge more than once. So for example, we might go E to D, and then to A, and then to C, and then to D, and then to B, and then end at E. So we're starting and ending at the same point, but we haven't covered any of the edges more than once. A closed trail is often referred to as a circuit. In fact, I'm going to use that terminology more than I'll use closed trail. Now, if we add the extra condition of having no repeated vertices, remember we're talking about a path. A closed path is a path that begins and ends at the same vertex. For example, we might have E to B to A to D and back to E again, repeating no edge or vertex. So closed walks are the biggest category of closed routes through a graph. Closed trails are the next biggest. They have no repeated edges and are often referred to as circuits. And then closed paths have neither repeated edges nor repeated vertices, and they're often referred to as directed cycles. So one of the skills that we need you to be able to do is to determine if a sequence of vertices describes a closed walk, a closed trail, which remember is also called a circuit, or a closed path, which is called a directed cycle, or none of these. 
So let's take a look at this sequence, A to E to B to C to D to A. Let's go ahead and trace it on the graph. So we're going from A to E to B to C to D, and then we're supposed to go directly back to A, but notice there is no edge here between D and A. So that's a problem because even a walk requires that you stay on the graph. So since there's no edge DA, this is not a walk, so it can't be a closed walk, so it's none of these. Okay, let's look at another example, same instructions. This time we're looking at B to C to D to C to A to B. Let's trace it on the graph. So we're going from B to C, and then we're going from C to D, and then we're going back from D to C again. So we're crossing through this edge twice. And then we're going up to A, and then we're going down to B. When you're trying to determine walks, trails, and paths, whether they're closed or open, you wanna focus on whether it's a walk first. And in this case, we do have a walk because it stays on the graph. It's a walk that starts and ends at B, so that means that we have a closed walk. Okay, the next thing we want to consider is whether it's a trail or not. Remember, trails can't cover the same edge twice, and we covered DC twice. So this is not a trail, which means it's not a circuit. It also means it can't possibly be a closed path, because remember, paths also cannot cover an edge twice, an edge or a vertex. So we know that this is a closed walk and that's all. The final answer would be closed walk only. Okay, let's look at another example. How about if we go from D to B to A to E to B to C to D? Let's trace that out. So we're going from D to B and then we're going up to A and then we're going down to E and then we're going back to B and then to C and then to D. All right, so this is definitely a walk which begins and ends at the same position, D. So this is a closed walk. If it's a closed walk, then we know there's a chance it's a trail or a circuit. The next thing we need to look at is, does it visit any edge twice? And it doesn't. So we know since there are no repeated edges, this is also a closed trail or a circuit. And then if it's a circuit, it has a chance of being a closed path or directed cycle. It visits vertex B twice, so that means it's not a closed trail. So in giving our final answer for this exercise, we would say that it's both a closed walk and a circuit, but not a closed trail. Let's do one more. Let's look at A to C to D to E to A. So from A to C and then to D and then to E and then back to A. It's definitely a walk because it stays on the graph. It's actually a closed walk because it begins and ends at the same vertex. It also has no repeated edges, so it's a circuit. So is it possible that it's also a closed path or directed cycle? Well, it doesn't visit any vertices more than once except the starting vertex, which remember we said is okay. So this also happens to be a closed path or directed cycle. So your final answer would be that it's all three. It's a closed walk, it's a circuit, and it's a closed path. So in this video we saw what happens when we add the condition of being closed to um, a walk. In the next video we're going to look at what happens when we add the condition that we have to visit every single edge. When that happens we refer to a man named Euler who studied that concept so we'll be talking about Euler trails and Euler circuits in the next video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That will help other students to find the video. If you're looking for more videos about graph theory or other math topics, please look for my channel, Miss Hearn Mathematics, and hit that subscribe button.